So we, we did have a, when our catch up, we touched upon something that I want to start with, um, um, mm-hmm. and that's really kind of the expansion of of esports when it became mainstream and uh, the emergence of Twitch um, in in mm-hmm. two thousand eleven, the summer. Um, and some of the comments there you're making for, from a publisher level um, was just so interesting. Um, and uh, the sort of stuff that we're talking about was that, you know, should video game publishers be treated um, uh, like the uh, music industry with, with royalties? You know, it kind of mm-hmm. makes sense if you think Twitch and YouTube and Facebook, are, you know, are gaming that, you know, they all got these computer game content out there. But, mm-hmm. you know, who's, who's getting paid? Right. It's, it's, it's just the streaming sites like uh, it, is any mm. of that going back to to, to the IP holders. So it'd be interesting to get your, your thoughts of when that happened um, and, and kind of is anything sort of changing there in the future. Yep. So the, the short answer is that just about everyone gets paid except the game publisher, <laughs> um, which is, um, of course, doesn't make any sense at all. But you have to go back to the sort of the beginning of streaming to understand why. We didn't see this coming. And I say we, the the collective game business did not see it coming. Uh, When those guys started Twitch, it was Justin's TV back then. Mm -hmm. The idea of watching other people game was just, um, it wasn't an idea that people accepted would be successful. And of course, we know what it's become. It's really driven, I think, a trillion hours last year with regards to all the streaming, et cetera. So it's become an enormous business. The game companies, because they didn't really see it coming, they got caught flat-footed, right? Um, we, we allowed people to do this. We allowed streamers to use our games, and we allowed the big streaming services to do it without paying because uh, the game business saw it as a marketing uh, arm, which, of course, it is. Uh, but now that the business is such a significant business, the game business is – the publishers are kicking themselves because, obviously, the game – um, the the actual IP and the content is critical to what's going on there. If there's music in a game, the music publisher will get paid. The game does not. So I would say that it was it's a lesson learned for the game business, and we will be talking about this for the whole conversation, not to allow that to happen again. As far as reclaiming that, it's a very difficult conversation because basically the streaming companies say, go to the streamers and take it out of them. That's kind of the conversation that happens, which of course you never want to go to fatality and ask him to pay you. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, you've, 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 been, you've been playing my game for 10 <laughs> years exactly and right. exactly you, haven't, right. uh, you haven't, I haven't seen anything. I haven't right. seen any money. Like, so no, it's, it, it, it's, it's obvious it comes from the streamer. It comes from the streaming site, right? right. Yeah, I mean, that's they, they get, they hold obviously a significant amount of revenue. And I know when Twitch, right. when they started, I, I was working for, for Twitch actually when yep. they, from 2011 onwards when it was um, mm-hmm. converted from Justin to Twitch. And, uh, you know, that revenue share was really in favor, uh, or at least definitely a 50-50 for, um, mm-hmm. for the streamers. And, and now it's a very, very different model. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly an interesting point. And, and, and it's kind of like, well, if, if the publishers didn't let that happen, like you know, sort of let the um, um, site sort of grow to the kind of the size that it is now. Like, what, would it have grown like Twitch so quickly? You know, what, would it have been yeah. a thing if, if the publishers still would have taken a um, uh, a cut? You know. Um, oh, I, I think so. I, yeah. I think the I think the uh, the streaming business would be as large as it is, as it is today. The distribution of the revenue would be different. Uh, but there's there's enough revenue there. There's enough kind of money there to go around. It's just trying to redo the model at this point is very, very challenging. Um, mm-hmm. So the, the game publishers, uh, it, it's a sore point with game publishers, I can tell you. Um, well, thankfully, game publishers make a lot of money, right? This is it's a bigger <laughs> industry than the music, film, TV combined. So um, I, I don't think they're kicking themselves too hard. 